little sugar buggers, welcome back to the channel for a brand new episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Famous. So it has been a couple weeks since Brielle discovered that she is indeed pregnant. Now there has been some speculation in the comments to who that baby daddy just might be. Now I don't really know like 122% actually now that I think about it. Thanks to you guys because you really made my brain think for a hot second. I do have Risky Woohoo on. We've been kind of like, you know, spreading our Venus flytrap all over the place. So to be honest, I really don't know what bug we caught, but we will, we will find out in in due time. That is exactly why, my friends, Brielle has decided to keep this pregnancy on the low low. That's right. She's not going to tell a single soul. She is like a scorpion. She moves so calculated that she would be damned to give herself up before she was ready to. Anyways, she decided that um for breakfast, she was going to make what appears to be chili, which I don't know if that is the baby talking or that is Brielle talking, but she's pregnant. You know what? It's 7.30. If this girl wants some chili, that is completely fine. As long as she's okay with having to be on the toilet more than once this morning, I I'm good with it. It's totally A.O. freaking K. Uh, Jasper, on the other hand, has been having such a hard time adapting to life without Garrett, um, even though their relationship was extremely freaking toxic and the stress has caused him to break out. He still he still misses the G and the D and all the things in between. I'm not going to lie. Like he he's very tempted to call him up and see if maybe uh, maybe they could work something out you know um and Ricky Dylan just kidding Ricky freaking Hoss over here has kind of been his I don't want to say it but his uh, rebound boy <laughs> and we ain't talking about on the basketball court my friends he is he has not been catching any of these balls anyways I know I say so many dirty jokes it's hilarious but uh life for Riel has been quite interesting actually even though that 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 appeared to be chili it's actually ceviche and uh chips which it looks like she just picked it up out of the trash can but we're not here to judge anyway her job is great she she loves working working um for a marketing firm in the business career for social media how crazy right so i guess somebody uh, might have seen her videos and realized that she is making waves waves in the celebrity world and wanted wanted her on their team so that maybe some of that influence could you know tr transpire onto their their profits or something i don't know so even though she was totally kidding when she decided to become the regional manager she's actually doing a fantastic job but look at our Brielle growing up. So she does need to go to work in 28 minutes. However, when she does get off work, she is going to be cutting ties with Porter. And a small part of her, okay, a very large part of her, really doesn't want to do that, actually. She she likes the guy. She does. But her agenda isn't going to allow her to settle down anytime soon. So I wanted her to go and change her outfit. Um, I don't know if she's going to be wearing like some sort of like business attire, but I'm very curious. She is reading a book this morning and it seems to me that she is interested in the glutton spiel. I'm not sure what this book is about, but let's find out. So any post, hold on, girl, I want to read. I No, put it down, put it down, put the book down. She, she's like, no, I don't want you to see what I'm reading. What are you reading? Um, okay, so in a post optiliptic uh, city, nine teenagers are chosen at random from their cave communities to eat until they are stuffed. Then they waddle into the field of terrors and fight to the death you know what i'm not gonna even front that actually sounds like um what brielle is doing right now except she's pregnant <laughs> she's not a she's not a teen living in a cage but uh oh my god we missed it we missed it we missed it we missed it uh she is wearing a really cute outfit oh my god like an office ensemble oh my god jasper he's so sad he's gonna go and take out the trash <laughs> okay like the biggest metaphor of his life at this point um, he does need to work from home. So we are going to reach level five of the writing skill, reach level three of the charisma, and then upload some images, snap some good shots, share them with the world by uploading images uh, at a computer. So where should we go to get some good snaps? I'm not sure. Um, He is a little bit hungry, so I'm kind of thinking maybe... 
going and venturing into the city we might be able to get a good nummy food stall we might even discover some really good snapshots so i think we're gonna go ahead on over to sand my shuno now i am gonna share with you guys kind of Riel's plot <laughs> what she's been thinking about doing uh let's go to the spice district because they have like a really good culture like he he loves uh, going down to the the waterside warble and getting some drinks and eating all the delicious tacos and food and stuff um maybe we could even invite over ricky or is this something that jasper needs to do solo for now let's do a solo dello and then also you guys have been requesting okay that lily fan somehow makes an entrance into this lp so i just want to give you guys all the details right now so lily fan was actually a character that was inspired off of one that i created back in london i had created this really cute kind of like k-pop star that i originally was going to have for the lp then i got the idea to make three friends because it's something i hadn't really done before um but yeah she was supposed to be the main attraction but i wasn't vibing her as much as i was the boys and Brienne. So let's go and see what stalls are open. Unfortunately, the only real thing that is available at the moment is some fresh produce, which I'm not really game for at like, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, but I did want to go and snag a couple photos. So actually, you know what? I even want to come over here and maybe grab this poster off of the uh, back of this mailbox. You know, I mean, we don't really need the money or anything. But, um, you know, sometimes just getting little things like this might actually help uh, with his really foul eye. Attitude. And it looks like Brielle's money just came in and she earned like two, like $2,200. $2, so to be really honest with you, Brielle does not need to work this job. Like she is doing A-O freaking K. She is what I would call, again, a lady boss. I wish there was something that I could do to make him feel a little bit better, but he is honestly feeling absolutely freaking foul right now. And can we look at this board? Oh, we can read the sign. That's what he was going to do. Okay, let's see what it says. I wonder what the next event is going to be. And then um, this is a really good snapshot like this is perfect so future sim lab presents inventacon inventacon will challenge the best and brightest of the world you have 40 hours to design and create the invention of your dreams if you think you have what it takes to be the next bill hawkings then sign up today what? Where do I sign up for Eventicon? I've never heard of that before. I've heard of Tanacon. I've heard of, uh, you know, VidCon and all those things. So we're going to go and see if we can snap, uh, snap, uh, snag a little picture. I could have sworn that Jasper had a, he did, but I think he gave it to Brielle to like film some stuff. I don't know what he did with this. Okay, so we don't have a camera right off the bat. But you guys, we are going to just take like a random, a random picture here. Let's just do a snap photo. I do need to, where the hell did he pick that up from? Oh my God. He's just drinking some dirty freaking like <laughs> tea off the street. Oh, that's good. Jasper has a really great eye for like photography. We're going to do kind of like this wide angle. I love how like rustic this is. Like not rustic, but yeah, whatever. Urban, I suppose. But I really I do love the shot like it's perfect with the trees um the brick in there i was actually trying to get uh down this way too as well let me see if i can have him go and do that one more time so let's take another photo uh he keeps going like back that way but let's try down this way too i love that hopefully these images will suffice because they're pretty damn good like they're super good they would have been better to like get them on an actual like DSLR camera but for now they are totally fine and it looks like this stall is open uh, I'm not sure what type of food this is um it looks like there it's just like curry a samosa uh some other type of plate that I'm not quite familiar with and then I think that is pretty much all wait hold on there's a couple food stalls over here we can go and snag some teas this is maybe where he got his tea from I'm hoping otherwise he's like you know snagging sloppy seconds and that's kind of disgusting but you know let's just go and grab a little samosa over here and I'm really getting tired of him just kind of like waltzing around like maybe he does need to hang out with Ricky for a little bit I don't know you know I just need him to like get over it when is he gonna get over he is feeling devastated oh my god so he's not even just sad y'all he's like crushed <laughs> and i'm so cruel i'm like just get over it jared is his name jared and if i've been calling him jared oh my god have i really have i really have i really no stop 
Ew. Seriously? Okay, I meant yeah, Jasper, but that's fine. <laughs> Let me know if I've been calling him Jared. I don't even know where that crawled out of. But yeah, I probably have. Anyway, uh, let's just have him relax a little bit. What is this kid doing? He's like spray painting and stuff. I love just having him out in the city by himself. He wouldn't mind living here, actually. He would be super duper excited to live here. And apparently this is really spicy. I was trying to like play it safe, but maybe these chili peppers need to be on this freaking kiosk because this ish is mucho caliente. So I'm going to speed on through. Maybe he'll actually like develop some taste buds for this ish. He also wants to go over and chat with Eva. I've always I've always been really curious about Eva, you know what I mean? Eva seems like a Ziva. I don't know, there's something about her. Like, really though, there's something about her. I'm just kidding. But yeah, she's kind of cute. I like her. Maybe they could become like really good friends or something like that. Oh, she's a part of the party house club. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. I see you, Eva. Who's this kid? Brett? Mm -hmm. Brent? Brent. Brent. Probably uh, taken and very, very much so. So we probably won't be barking up that tree anytime soon. But it does appear that, uh, you know what I think? You know what I think? I think Eva saw Jasper just kind of like moseying around, super sad. And she came and sat next to him and wanted to see what was his problem. But then when he got deep into it, she wanted nothing. <laughs> Nothing to do with it. How rude. Maybe she's the type of person that can't handle like emotionally charged situations. That was horrible. <laughs> my god here i thought she actually cared all right well let's go and wrap up our morning in the city jasper does need to go and use the restroom so i'll have him do that now again i actually have him uh wait he can photograph an impression wait hold on let's see oh my god that is super duper dope i've never seen that before so what happens after he does that oh we have to upload three images i've only taken a couple so i do them from the computer or can i do them from the okay let me see at the computer okay awesome and then uh, after he goes to the bathroom i want to see what is in this little um snow globe box thing is there oh oh wow there's another poster okay he didn't really get to go to the bathroom but uh did he oh he did oh he went fast oh <laughs> he was like he just like let it all out it was really quick okay and then wait hold on um he's gonna go tip akira too oh i love that even though he feels horrible um he is feeling also very generous can we introduce ourselves to akira akira he seems to want to cool all right so let's go and give him a friendly introduction i love that he's actually branching out despite the fact of not really wanting to now brielle should be on her way home shortly so i want to make sure that we're home in time because obviously we've got a lot of things to do too so i wanted to tell you guys my plan um or brielle's plan so brielle is thinking of making the most out of this situation now she's not gonna really know who the baby daddy is until she has the baby daddy you know makes sense um, and then she's going to go after that person for literally everything that she can. That's right. She wants an apartment in the city, a penthouse, if you will. And she wants royalties for the baby, like $10,000 a week. Like she's literally going to go hard. She is pulling a Selena Powell and she is not ashamed. <laughs> so anyways, dirty money. Going over some routine expenses, Brielle notices some lines that don't seem to be matching up. Upon further investigation, she discovers that a lot of money is being funneled into some secretive executive accounts. Brielle doesn't have much standing at the company yet, but this seems like the kind of thing that she should take to the authorities, right? Honestly, not really. Brielle isn't the queen of trustworthiness. And if she sees something dirty and it's going to affect her, she's going to go and uh, lose the papers. Brielle's life will continue unchanged. She saw absolutely squat dilly jack. Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? She's on their payroll, not anyone else's. Anyways, um, let me see if he can finally go over here and upload the uh, upload the pictures. I don't know where the frick heck to do this at so if you want to yell at me in the comments down below feel free but like honestly what the hell am i supposed to do um social networking share image there we go perfect awesome got that okay so we're gonna go and uh, share an image three times i probably like had images that i could have like 
shared and I probably didn't need to do all this but it was fun I like had a really good time just kind of going and exploring the city uh looks like Jasper actually earned hold on a second when's the next time that I can share an image are you freaking serious are you serious he needs to wait before he can do this again well isn't that freaking backwash like honestly why would you give me a task that I can't even complete <laughs> Oh my god i'm gonna kick your butt all right find me is add an impression let me see he must have impre an impression buff well i did have him go and photograph an impression maybe we should go and plan some outfits or something or no he will actually have to plan outfits and we need to move this thing too okay you know what we're gonna go move this bad boy probably into the living room because there's a lot more space to do what we need to do uh, i just gotta go and move um brielle's dirty little drone over here and let me go and have him find his muse i have no clue what that even means at this point but we're gonna go for it we also need to have him work a little bit on charisma let me see let's go and do hmm let me see practice speech that should do it and then over here we're gonna go and write let me see a love email oh my god yeah no we are we're gonna go and oh my god we're gonna go and write dots or a love email he's so sad i actually feel really bad and brielle's like dying she's dying you guys honestly work kicked her freaking kulo something fierce in here i was thinking she's gonna go and like call it a day uh 420 oh my god look at the little baby bump oh my god she needs to hide it though she needs to hide it we cannot be out here looking all sorts of pregnant you guys don't look i saw you you thought i was gonna show you huh <laughs> nope so I was actually able to pause Brielle's pregnancy indefinitely on, I think, trimester number one. So she does not show what's so freaking ever. Super duper cool. I don't think I actually saw the gender of the baby, which is also really exciting because then I can be surprised just like you guys can. Now, Brielle does need to take a couple of Z's. However, we do need to break it off with Porter because she is starting to feel even worse about this situation than she had um, originally. So we're going to go and grab a sleep replacement or no sleep replacement we're gonna grab a sleep replacement we're gonna have her go and take that we're gonna meet up with porter i don't know where maybe like at a bar or something i i just anywhere at this point uh and maybe even grab some food because she is feeling extremely freaking hungry and sad because the holiday was awful but ultimately lingering sadness oh that sucks because she's hungry she's sad because she's hungry if that's not a mood <laughs> i love you like she becomes more and more relatable every freaking second and another reason why also she kind of wants to i don't know break it off with porter is because she wants to move in on cam i know you're thinking chen she's pregnant what is she doing honestly i don't know i'm not here to judge you know what i mean like she she is her own person and she is making it very freaking obvious and apparent that she is free to do whatever it is that she chooses so we're gonna go over to maybe some sort of club bar thing i don't know uh maybe willow creek i feel like we've been to all of these these should be renovated if i'm not mistaken there's a willow creek archive why do we have a library here okay what about uh the blue velvet i think this has been renovated so it's not going to feel like old and crusty. Um, but yeah, I don't want to break up with Porter. Like this is going to kill him. Like he's, he's going to like break inside. He really genuinely does care about Brielle like a lot. And he usually doesn't, he's not the type of guy I, I should say to like let girls get into his head, you know, mess up his A game, that type of a thing. So for Brielle, oh my God, he just came back from a game. <laughs> so for Brielle to shh. Don't be telling him that. Uh, so for be able to be able to get into his head like she has, that is that is that is speaking high high volume. So obviously Brielle isn't going to you know drink or anything like that. But um, we're gonna just see if we can maybe. I don't want to make her like sadder, but like uh, I don't know. Like how do we how do we break the ice? Friendly, ask for a selfie, ask about career. Oh my god, dude, freaking back off, back off. Why is she so creepy, Ricky? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, dude. You're freaking giving me the heebie-jeebies. Anyways, okay. Brielle has learned that Porter is an MVP at the other sports team. That is right. You could have had a whole freaking life with this guy, but you're sitting here literally chasing stars. I don't want our relationship, though. <gasps> I don't want our relationship to go to, like, poo-poo. Like, I just want to kind of, like, maybe see if we can just ask, ask just to be friends, you know? Like, just take a, take a, take, take a break. Take a time out. Because if I go and I break up with him, like, a big old show 
it's gonna show you feel me and it's gonna back it's gonna backfire i'm gonna lose my relationship with him and then i might end up losing some stardom don't be eyeing my man i saw you freaking twinkle eyes all right so they're talking they're breaking the ice he's just you know kind of wanting to know like where where she's been you know like why hasn't she been returning um any of his phone calls you know what it, what's going on like is it something he did? Uh, is it something he said? You know, has he not been showing that he's serious enough? Like, he just kind of wants to know what exactly is going on. How can he be um, a better a better boyfriend to her? Because he cares about her deeply. He's very serious about her. And he thinks he's made that pretty obvious. So, anyways, she's just kind of giving him the tea. It's not you, it's me sort of spiel. You know, the same old saying that we've heard a million freaking times before. And to be honest, he wasn't buying it. He's like, just say what you need to say, Brielle. I think we should just be friends, Porter. Things are getting a little too serious, and I am way too young to be settling down right now. He's like, you know what? Seriously, I knew it. You've been just stringing me along this entire time. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. I should have known, Brielle Crow, that you were just going to come in here and break my freaking heart. And as hard as that was, honestly, it feels like it was for the greater good. And Brielle really wants to go in and snag something from the bar, even though she really just wants to, like, get out of here and hightail it out. So we're going to grab something to go. Pack it in a sack lunch, take it home, um, and eat it for later. But, yeah, I don't know. That was actually really painful. And to be honest, I feel like Porter deserves better anyways, to be just quite freaking frank. Um, now, Brielle is kind of climbing towards becoming a B-lister celebrity. I think it's B-lister or C-lister. I don't really know. But I need to get these. Uh, I need to get this little plate of whatever the heck it was um, in my inventory. Where'd it go? Oh, my God. Did we just put it down somewhere? Oh, my goodness. I need another one here. You know what? Wait, is this it? Oh, my God. Pack it into a sack lunch, sis. Take that ish to go. Can we do it? I think we can. There we go. She's got a little sack lunch. How cute. All right. She's took. Take one for take one for yourself. Leave some for the others. Let's go and grab another one. Uh, we're gonna bring these home to uh, Jasper. And Jasper was doing something. I don't know what he was doing, but you guys saw the little light bulb there. I think he was actually working on his skills, which is really cool. So, how do you guys feel about Brielle? Finally calling it quits with Porter. Do you feel like that's the right thing? Do you feel like a part of her is regetting her decision? And why the hell is this chick eyeballing me? Like, I don't trust her. She seems sneaky. And not to mention, Brielle does definitely need to be very careful with who she starts making enemies with. Because there is something that could really just taint and tarnish her entire reputation. And this image that she has made for herself. And I don't think she would be ready or know, even know how to, like, defend her herself if that actually ended up happening but anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here i hope you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys simple people acting so proud proud i hear them talk